hey everyone this is Justlyn and welcome back to my channel for more Hogwarts Legacy right I didn't play this game for so so long I hope I can remember my controls and okay let's see what quest that we have not done I remember from the previous episode I mentioned I have to do um, this side quest off camera but I don't have time for that yeah unfortunately I don't have time to play some of the side quests like this assignments off camera yeah I I am so busy nowadays so spending time to play games and re doing recording is my fortunate yeah <laughs> Yes, it's so lucky that I have time right now to play this game. Okay, so uh, for today's episode, I am going to do the beast class. Yes, I am so interested in doing this. So uh, yeah, and also this, I need to go and find Sirona. Yeah, but first let me go and learn this lesson yes here okay let's go wait 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 before that let me go and explore my room first okay I never explore my own room for so long as well okay nothing else Go to the other room. Yes, I can. And I can't see myself. I think it's because of the graphic that I've chosen. Uh, okay, the graphics quality here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to mean. Right, so let's go. Moments later. Let's begin. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them That's properly. Weird. I don't hear any audio. Now, it seems right. many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Looks like... Oh. Oh. Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. So Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> oh, this is Gerald, not Gerald. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to fight. Mm. Okay. So let's assign it to okay, this. Wait. experience <laughs> that's lovely Can I I'm have sure he feels much better this is my pet I think he might be hungry 
Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Right. Oh, couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What is he trying to do? Pulling his What in Merlin's name are you doing? Ugh. Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. Well, they Those two care. don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Okay, let's brush you. Let's feed. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Okay, hold on. Let me fit them. Right. Okay, there. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I enjoy it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now. Why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Right. I need to talk to you. Come here. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, 
In light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Oh, forbidden forest? Sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Right. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Later. Right. Back. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. <laughs> Need to collect all those moonstones for my decorations. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Right. Stand back. More bees, I guess. Must be a huge one. Wow! So pretty. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Exactly. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Reminds me of the deer in Nara in Japan. <laughs> I knew it! I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Can I use her as my flying pet? I mean like a mount. <laughs> it's like half eagle, half horse. So, what did you think of High Wing? She was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. I can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That sounds suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. It would be good to investigate. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Right. Quest complete. This quest is really quick. Okay, I need to go and find zero. 
A few moments later. Can't thank you enough. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. He's a friend. Okay. I'm... Okay, trust the goblin. Yes, I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. What have you heard about Ranrock and Rockwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please... Give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Might I ask you some questions, Serona? Of course you can. Okay, now. Sorry, never mind. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. But I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Okay, what do you hear about the forest? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Okay, I'll think about it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Right. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. What are they? 
necessary. Oh, and the food is here again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they don't seem so angry. I made a mess there. Okay, so find the butterflies in the forbidden forest. Go and do her butterfly quest. Oh, I nice to have Hi, B. Okay, let's go. Huh? There they are. She wasn't making it up. Of course not. Should I use uh you miss Lumos Lumos? Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willis might get an answer about these butterflies. Lumos. More moments later. Hey. Hello, Miss Wallace. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Uh, yes, and I was very wanted. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Right. Folks still talk about oh. you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. So... Do this first because this level is level 12. So, where is it? It's there. Okay, second waypoint. Wait a minute. I think I want to check out my gear. change her hairstyle I mean to change her looks okay. Okay. 
eat and drink. Welcome yeah. to the Ogs Head. And the empty seat is yours. <laughs> Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Because she trusts me. Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus. In a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Okay. I'll retrieve the relic. Very I'll well. Retrieve the relic. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay, meet Lock up near the witch's tomb. Let's do this again. Oh, I see something. How do I grab that already? Wait. Back. Uh, this. Rebellion. Ah. Then. Okay. Finally. Ah. The mounted hawk's head rolls its eyes as snuffles its nose as it always sees the city atmosphere and inside interesting clientele of the hawk's head. Right. Okay. Uh, which I need to go to... which is doom. I have a new gear. Let's check that out. Oh, okay, why not? Okay, another new look. Later. This is so freaking convenient that I can travel everywhere using my 
flying broom. There you are. Hi there. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Okay, I don't have to press any. What precisely is the relic this? I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. I think it must be that one. Yes. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Ah, oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? True. I've always said that travel... I wish you luck <laughs> retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Uh, why is this helmet valuable? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgott is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Okay. Do you know why Ranrock is working with Rookwood? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Okay, what might I encounter here? I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as in theory. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Let's do this. I guess this is another dungeon place. Okay, I can't get there. Get outside. I can, but I have to press that button. So, yeah. So magical. Yeah, this 
yourself. Okay. Alan's beard. Can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Okay. Yeah. Lumos. to go. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Oh, what are those that are so zombies? Really creepy. I don't like them. This way. Power 
it somehow. It looks like it could be rotated. This? More moments later. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see something. Or should I put this butterfly into Lumos. this? Ah, indeed. Platform closer, but how?
get down. <laughs> Lumos. 
This looks even more complex. something This is really not easy at all. Lumos.
moments later. Oh, wait a minute, that's one this. more. Gosh, how can I not see this? <laughs> Witch's final resting place. Lord Gog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Ravenia. Okay. The dead Ashwinder. The compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gog won't like better show this to Lord Gog. to open this door. Let's go. And I am back. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Very well. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Okay. Let me try to talk to this guy. Lodlock, what should we do about the helmet thieves? I'm afraid there's no choice but to stop them. Go to their camp and deal with them at once. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Okay. Right, guys, I have to stay here for today's episode. On the next episode, we are going to recover the helmet from the thieves. And I also want to do this quest. Um, this one. Because I want to get the Alohomora as my rewards. Yeah. Okay, so... If you guys enjoyed for today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!